Gentlemen, Antonio here. Okay, today I'm gonna to be talking about five options when you're looking to shave and you wanna use a shaving cream, a shaving soap, shaving oil. I'm gonna talk about the difference between all of them. This is a basic overview. I'm going to have an individual video and article that's gonna go into each of these in a lot more detail. But right now, I just want you to be aware of what's out there. Uh, these are five of the most common ones and I'm gonna tell you which ones I prefer, why I prefer them, and so that you can have a basic understanding of the difference between these five options. So, let me start off with number one. This is basically, you've seen, seen it, shaving cream. Comes in an aerosol can. Uh, its contents are under pressure. This is what I started with and I think a lot of you guys have started with. So, if I'm diving into this and I'm looking through it, one of the things that immediately I never really thought about before, but I see propane. I see sulfate, I see a lot of water. Uh, I mean, really when it comes down to it, this is something that is under pressure. In order to use that propellant, that smells bad. They covered up with a lot of fragrance. And in my opinion, this is the lowest form of shaving cream out there. It's the easiest to find, probably the least expensive to make. And you'll see it also, there's in gels and things like that. Gels are a little bit better. Uh, however, I would still say because they're using a propellant, you're putting literally propane on your face. And if you are having any problem shaving, you want to try something besides this and you may have to buy some of this on Amazon. Now, I'm gonna link in the article and down in the, uh, the description of this video, I'm gonna have links over to these other products that I'm recommending so you can just go over and check them out on Amazon. Uh, but if you're in another country, you wanna also look at, uh, you know, look, at, look beyond what you see here because there's a lot more. And so let me go ahead and I'm gonna then move into shaving oils. Now, shaving oils are something that not all of you guys have seen. I've got a couple examples here. I really like the one by the Grooming Lounge. Uh, now, there's a couple big benefits of shaving oils. One, when I go and I look at ingredients, all of a sudden I realize, wow, this is actually pretty darn simple. There's no propane here. Everything is peppermint oil. They're all oils. Uh, they are natural. It usually looks like a lot of naturally occurring things and it's a very small container. So if you travel, shaving oils are great. Uh, now, you need to find out, does this work for you? The only way you're gonna find out if a shaving oil works for you is to actually try it. You may have to be a little bit more generous. I know they usually say, what, like two or three drops, or three to four drops is, is perfectly fine. I usually use a little bit more. I like to be over lubricated, and really that's what our cream and this stuff. Don't get fooled by how big the cream is. It's about actually what touches your face and how does it allow the razor to glide along your face. Now it also depends, are you using cartridge, are you using disposable razors, are you using straight razors? Uh, but shaving oils are cool because you can also use these if you're using an electric razor. Um, so shaving oils, something I think a lot of men should try and give a chance. Um, so moving on from shaving oils, what else is out there? So. I'm gonna bring up shaving soaps. Shaving soaps are really nice. These ones are made by the Blades Grimm. They're luxury shaving soaps. These, like the oils, have very basic ingredients. In fact, when I'm looking at this one, I know uh, the founder, uh, Luke, I was talking with him. I mean, the, he wanted the ingredients to be very simple, very natural. So again, that's what I like about these very natural ingredients. Now this shaving soap, usually this, I find the simpler the ingredients, uh, sometimes it's gonna be a little bit pricier, uh, but coconut oil, water, lye, uh, vegetable glycerin, just a tad bit of fragrance, although they have some without any fragrance. For those of you guys with really sensitive skin, you can also find ones like uh, Colonel Conch. I mean, this is okay. Um, the the no this nomad shave soap i mean this one's pretty decent as well i've got other ones uh i've even used bars that aren't exactly designed uh to be full shaving bars but this is i can use it as a bar of soap and that's another thing i like when i travel i can use it as a bar of soap if need be although usually because it's a little bit pricier i'll use the bar of soap that the hotel provided but i can just rub this right on my face i don't even need a brush at times although you can take a brush and it does help and that's probably the big disadvantage even when you've got you know it comes with a bowl is that you're going to need a badger hair brush or you can use a even a synthetic one uh, however you're going to need a brush oftentimes to work up a lather and so using shaving soap is going to require a bit more time and the difference between regular soap and shaving soap is going to be this type of soap is designed to actually have more of a lubricant so when it's on your face it's going to smooth versus a lot of other soaps are actually going to strip away some of the lubricants so don't think you can just use a regular bar of soap shampoo in a point though i've heard some people use it on their face and it works okay i would just 
just rather use a lotion because it's all about getting that glide for the razor. Okay, so we've talked about soaps, we've talked about propellant, uh, you know, we've talked about the oils. Now let's go ahead and get into, this is more, I would say, of a, it, it's a mix between the cream and Parasso. It's an Italian company. These guys, I really like this. The ingredients are overall very simple. Basically, I recognize a lot of the things. It is starting to use some uh, ingredients which I'm not super familiar with or I'd have to go grab a dictionary or do a quick Google search to figure out what they are. However, I can tell you my experience with this is it's a nice blend. It's softer than a soap. I can put my finger in here and actually you know, adjust it, but it's not so soft that it would ever fall out. And that's a good indicator. I like things that are a little bit more solid because if it becomes too runny, unless it's an oil, it's going to oftentimes not do a great job. And that takes me, so again, this is more of, I would say, a, a shaving cream slash soap. And then we've got the true shaving creams. And these are gonna be in containers. This one's made by Neutrogena. I've also got the Beard Destroyer by uh, Grooming Lounge. Both of these are fine. Uh, the Cremo Cream is uh, one of my favorites. This one's great. Uh, the Beard Lube by Jack Black is pretty darn good. And then you've got ones like the Gillette Body. This isn't truly a cream. This is more of a gel. And one thing I would say, once you start getting into like Gillette, Neutrogena, the ones you're gonna find a lot of times just in a regular Walgreens, what I find, you gotta look at the ingredients because they start getting very close to what you get in the propellants. But when it comes down to it, I love the shaving creams because I can take this stuff out, put it right on my finger and just rub it on my face. Uh, it, you can also use it with a brush. If you have a bowl, you can put a little bit of cream in there and go ahead and get up a lather and use that as well. The big advantage of using a brush is supposedly it's gonna do a better job getting in all those small areas where your fingers can't necessarily get into. And uh, But like I said, you wanna be careful. I got this one at a hotel and when I put it out, it was very, very liquidy. In fact, I did not enjoy it. However, other times I'd get a shaving cream and it would be amazing. And this one was, uh, you know, I look at the ingredients, very simple ingredients. So sometimes at a hotel you can get an amazing product. Other times, uh, not so amazing. The point is, guys, there are options out there beyond, beyond what you find here in the can. So go out there, find what works for you. You're going to need to test it, but you can find some of these options relatively inexpensive. And this one upgrade can drastically improve your shave. All right, guys, if you want more information, you know I've got it over at realmenrealstyle.com. I've got infographics. I've got access to my personal image system. This is a complete course, complete with the formula, with the blueprint, with the league, with the course, and with the coaching. So whether you want simplicity, whether you want a lot of information, whether you want community, whether you want actually one, you know, a course, whether you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, I've got that over at Real Men Real Style. Check out in my premium products, you'll see the, uh, the personal image system. Really proud about that course. Guys, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.